All right, welcome back. We're about to assault Radrick's hold and teach him a lesson about how he should treat others. Um, now, before we do, let's refresh ourselves on the journal. The details of our mission here. I believe they offered some suge suggestions to us. There it is. Lord of a barren land. Right. Harsh measures. Harsh is an understatement. Confront Lord Radric the Seventh inside Radric's keep. I have reached Radric's hold. Lord Radric waits somewhere within, but making my way inside will not be a simple task. Here's the actual details. Um be a considerable challenge to get inside. Kolsk believes that a frontal assault upon the keep would be impossible. Perhaps not impossible, but certainly difficult. Uh, he suggested I attempt to find a way in through the sewers at the eastern edge of the moat. Okay, if there's a, mo a moat and the uh, drawbridge is uh, raised, then I suppose a frontal assault is impossible. Alternatively, I may be able to find some way to access the upper floor of the castle where Nenmar, Kolsk's contact, resides. Hmm. Sounds like there will be many ways this could go for us. Many approaches, or at least a few. Though, I mean, to get to the upper floor, I feel like we'd have to go through the sewers or something else. It seems separate. As you wish. A big map. This is the home of the man responsible for those hanging corpses. Yeah. You don't plan on knocking, do you? Uh, only his skull. Against the floor and the table. And, uh, against my sword. You know, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, we'll focus first on just exploring the perimeter. See what's around. Heavy stench rises from the stagnant water. Well, it's an actual moat, so it's probably where a lot of their refuse goes. Uh, are we actually going to be, uh, oh, I forget what it's called, but the, uh, the gate that castles usually had that was for sewage. Because that would be a traditional weakness, I suppose. It would make sense for us to, uh, take advantage of it. I wonder what these uh, pillars are holding up. Oh. Oh, yeah. Kind of is what we're doing. I'm just kind of surprised they didn't clear this or something. Let, let's, uh, let's make sure to still explore the rest down here, though. No. Quick save is what I wanted. Basically just sprinting. <laughs> the little pig trotting. It's kind of adorable. I do wonder where the actual... Oh! I did not mean to do that. Really? On site? 
well, that answers the question I had. If, uh, I was kind of, I wanted to see what uh, happens if you approach, even though that's not my intended uh, route. I am going to take the sewers, almost certainly, but good to know. Oh, hey, this is different. The guard fix. Why did they attack me last time? Huh. The guard fixes a glower on you. You have no business here. Lord Radrick is not permitting any visitors, merchants, or traveling entertainers. He sneers. Best turn around right now. Or turn right around. I'll be leaving then. Goodbye. Huh. Strange that the last time they just straight up attacked me. See, that makes more sense that they would give you warning. It's what I was actually expecting to happen when we found the front gate. Oh. The castle's bell tower rises up over the walls before you. Thick vines have grown over the outer wall, weaving over and between the stones. The vines span nearly the full height of the wall, curling over the parapets. The overgrown vines look fairly sturdy, though it is unclear whether they would bear a person's weight. Far above, you notice that a section of the parapets has fallen away, presenting a gap in the defenses. Okay. Now I'm starting to see why those are two separate options. Uh, I'm not sure which I want to take now. Kolsk suggested meeting his uh, associate. Of course, there's no guarantee that this Nenmar will actually be friendly to us. Should we trust in them? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Well, do we hear... Is that Radrick's guards on the wall? Oh, or maybe it's the pig. Um, no, it's not the pig. I think that's probably the more dangerous route. We'll, we'll try the sewers. As you wish. I think. All right, here we are. Set into the base of the keep's outer wall, a sewer gate spills murky, foul-smelling wastewater into the keep's surrounding moat. Yeah, slick, mossy stones form a precarious bridge across the murky water. Quite frankly, I'm also not... Well, we could probably use a grappling hook on the wall. I was going to say, I'm not sure if we could all even climb it anyways. Though... Be able to make it through these bars. Uh, actually, I have a pry bar. Maybe that will work. Maybe. Head. The iron bars of the sewer grate block passage. The bars are coated with rust. Okay, probably breakable. And several appear bent or sit at straight at strange angles. They may have been weakened enough that you could bend them, given the means. If only I had a bending unit. Uh, use the pry bar to bend the bars. Yeah, let's try that. And that answers a question I had about the pry bar. Whether it was a one-time use or not. The constant rush of foul water against the grate makes maneuvering difficult. But you manage to place the pry bar between two of the more heavily rusted bars and give it a heavy push. With a groan, one of the iron bars begins to give. You heave, and at last, the bar snaps free of its base with a crunch. Beyond the broken grate, a dark passage leads further into the keep. Murky waters flows through it in a continuous stream. Ah, uh, We gotta swim through here. Ah, uh, I'm seriously contemplating going up the wall now. Guards or no guards. Uh, hold your breaths, everybody, or hold your noses. Oh, we're gonna need so many baths. 
take a deep breath to forestall the acrid stench around you. You slip forward into the flooded tunnel. It will all soon fade from view as you plunge into a foreboding darkness. Ah, oh, this better be worth it. As you swim on, light begins to filter through the murky water ahead of you. You press on. At least they're calling it water, even though we know that's not quite accurate. You press on, seeking out the source, until you find yourself standing beneath a circular gap in the tunnel and a way out. Thank goodness. Ugh. Well. We'll save here. We're also gonna scout while we're in here, of course. I can't step up that ledge. Alright, fair enough. This one I can, though. Or not. Who's here? A ghoul? Where? Hmm. My mechanics is higher than one, or higher than two, right? Yeah, I have three. Yes, where there's a pick, there's a way. It's finished. Thank you. Oh. Interesting room. What are the candles are for? Oh, well. I will gladly loot his little uh, treasure box there. Come on, Piggy. I still need to give you a name. I just haven't been able to think of anything. Okay, that looks like it's probably the way to go. Let's keep exploring a little bit first down here. Oh, Revenant. Oh, boy. Well, it's a vessel. So we have, uh, it's vulnerable to some of our stuff. No, you go forward mm. first. All right. Let's let it come to us. And we'll all attack it. How may I help? Okay, that really hurt it. Hi. Wonderful yes. work, team. Oh, there's another one up there. Do you have your uh, thingy back? Yes, good. Yes. I'll see what I can find. Oh, there's a bunch of them in here. A few ghouls. Um. All right, yeah. Attack, everyone. You step forward, and we'll have you wait a little bit. Actually, no. Oh, not effective enough. How may I help? These guys are stronger than I thought they'd be. Um. Well, switch your weapon. Skelly, huh? Maybe that's why. I... Mm. Go after that one. Yikes, second wind, please. Thankfully, he still has a lot of HP. As long as he doesn't go down, we'll be fine. And this is this is fast, right? Yeah, good. Oh, there's more of them. Ah, but we need to take that out. Uh, no, intercept it. Intercept the revenant. 
And he's down. Ouch. Minus four con. I don't want to waste my stuff on him. So much for you. There we go. I would like to save my resources as much as possible. That was effective. Good. And his HP is still decent. Just has the bruised ribs. Con. Yes. Well. Well. Oh, well, we'll see if it becomes a problem. Laying low. I'm not sure if resting will fix injuries like that, though. I can't remember. I do know there was a way to get rid of them. I think it was resting. Black ooze. Um, yeah, let's soul shock him. Arcane strike him. And you? I think I'm gonna have you switch your weapon again. Well, that's not very helpful. That's immune. Yes. As you wish. Oh, uh, scout, of course. Laying low. Best scouting. Ah! What did you trick? What did you trigger? Maybe I shouldn't fast scout. That was a dart. 45 pierce damage. That was a graze, too. Jeez. Well. Keeping an eye out. Hmm. Oh, you know what? That ladder is actually probably the way out. Is it locked? No. Bastards! Ow! A rot ward amulet. Huh? Decreases poison and disease. How quickly they damage you. The moonstone derives its name from its moonlight luster. Moonlight like luster. Sometimes collected by Andra's gift bearers, uh, who associate the stone's presence in the world with the legends of Andra's love affair with the moon. Well. Well. Don't tell Sokka about, uh, this love affair of the moon. Let's go through here first. We need to stop triggering these traps, damn it. Ah, oh, look at that. Minus intellect, minus resolve. Well. Uh, it takes three lockpicks for us. I'll see. How many lockpicks do I have? Fifteen. Oh, well. I suppose it's not the end of the world, then. Yeah, 
done. It's finished. I did not. Oh, hey, slime. Uh, I did not say yes, damn it. Mental binding. Do like that one. Yeah. Yes. Come on. There we go. What is it? Honestly, we probably will rest before going up with all these injuries. Which means that I think I'm willing to uh, use some more of our resources. If necessary. What? I guess we didn't need that. Yes. More oozes. That's it. What? You leave him alone. Yes. No. As you wish. Let's go back to scouting. God, again. Ow, was it steam? Yeah, it was boiling water. Light, flame, and sound. We'll keep to ourselves. Hmm. There's a bunch in here. All right, everyone. Now we will need to use our resources. Um, let's see. Blinding? No. No. Combusting wounds? Maybe. I'd rather have something. Uh... Yeah, get up here. Let's do arcane strike. No. We'll burn. It's going to hit our ally, but that's fine. Here we go. This, uh, iconic projection. And finally, let's get that soul shock out. Well, so much I'm actually not sure how effective that uh, kind of projection was. Go ahead and heal with Holy Radiance. There we go. A little better, but his HP is super low now. Another soul shock in there. And divine mark. Let's hit me with that. Yes. So much. Good, that one's down. Come on, finish this one off. Um you're still casting that. The Divine Mark. I think these guys are immune to... Uh, 
Actually, I could take over one. I'm not sure what the will is, but... Is that 51? What? Go out and attack that one. Oh, you did not last long at all. Must have grazed. Um. Oh, he's down, damn it. Let's get our Minoletas minor missiles over here. Well. Ow. Good, I'll take your deflection. That healed me a little bit, right? Well, if you attack. So much for you. Let's get more missiles in him. these actually damage no but I suppose the barbs of condemnation will do there we go yes you okay there uh you okay there buddy Hater? not really well What is it? Mm. Nice and quiet. Oh, you know what? I had fast forward on this whole time, didn't I? That explains a few things. More Audra. Perhaps I should turn that off. Really, we do need a rest now. I'll try to explore the rest of down here first, though. It's funny, we took the sewers thinking it would be safer. That is quite the laugh. Roderick really needs to, uh, you know, clean out the undead in his basement. Do like a health potion. That one's for endurance. That one's for endurance. It's also an endurance one, right? Yeah. Hmm. All these food do uh, have slightly different effects. Pay more attention to that from now on. If I ever need a stat boost or something for like a obstacle or something. Good, saved. Hey. Let's see if it's... Um, every time. We are not picking up on any of these traps. Ah, there's a bunch down here. More skellies, too. Did you just use that already? You used it way too early. Oh, well. That failed. Um, let's try it like this then. Give us a increase the accuracy and damage. Yeah, let's get that.
There we go. Oh, it's another revenant. Oh my. Wait, no. Son of a. Can't have that. Who knows when we'll get another uh, warrior. Let's try and lure this one out. As you wish. Give it a moment. Hey. Get you back off. And just run that way. Endurance, switch weapon. Give me that, uh, zone of accuracy. Give me a, uh, a mirrored image or a curse of black and sight. Go for a mirrored image. Going to also take this opportunity. For a soul shock. Okay, cast your spell. There we go. Now holy radiance. You already cast yours? Takes care of those. Good work, team. What is it? We got it this time without. No rebirth for him this time. God damn it. What? <laughs> Edder, you poor son. <laughs> oh my. I'm pretty sure it was mechanics that. The text traps, right? I need someone with more mechanics. Next time we level. Okay. We killed them again. He's not dead from a trap yet. And we saved. Hey. Well. All because I want to not rest quite yet. Just like an adherent to go down fast. Everywhere. Fuck you, Radrick. I hate you even more now. Light, flame, and sound. We'll keep to ourselves. Junior. Dungeon. Yes. As over there. Of course. A blade in the dark. I'll see it done. No. Wait. Hi? Maybe. That's just a, uh... No, it's a... It is a vessel. It's finished. Not sure why I'd want to go in there. Let's take care of this first, though. go all right radiance how much did that do quite a bit and since I have it boom. there we go we'll save frequently from this point on yes as you wish. A few bloodied fingernails are in 
embedded in the dirt. Ah. Oh. Just one more thing to add to Radrick's list of crimes. This would have allowed me to avoid those traps, I suppose. Oh well. Blood is smeared on the wall in the vague shape of letters. Whatever it once said has been obscured by uh, a crimson handprint. Ugh. Hey, over here. You a pally? Or a temple knight? Get me out of the cell, please. Hmm. I don't think I have a... Uh... Can you pick the lock? I think the anima that Animancer has the key. Animancer. Hmm. Where could this supposed Animancer be? Yeah, it's the lower ramparts. Figured that was probably the way we're supposed to go. Um. What is it? Ugh. Let's go by ourselves for the moment. A blade in the dark. What? Now I detect the trap. It's because you're alone. I failed to disarm it though. There's something ahead. If it's almost like my uh, the presence of my other other party members was uh, throwing her off. Don't step in the traps, piggy. Animancer, you in here? Oh, camping supply is good. Good, 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 good. We can rest. We so desperately need to rest. Hey guys. Before I do that. Can I detect this when I'm on by myself? There was someone around here somewhere. There's something ahead. Seriously. Yeah, they're too difficult for me. Um <laughs> it's all your guys' fault that we got into these traps. You were distracting me. All that conversation we were having. Well. Well, let's rest. Definitely, definitely need rest. Oh, that's better. What is it? As you wish. We will save again. Now that we're rested. Hmm. We can certainly get that one. Required three. Yes. It's finished. It's just mail armor? What a waste. Perfectly good lockpicks. I hope I don't come up three lockpicks short down the road. I am scouting around. I'm just. Your enemies in there. Yeah, I'm just fast forwarding. Hello, anybody home? Don't mind if I do. 
to the keep kitchen. Hmm. Fair enough. All right, let's uh regroup. We can go through the other door. To face whatever's in there together. What is it? Uh, at least one revenant and a ghoul again. Well, screw it. Oh, there's a lot in there. Um, everyone. You're not still scouting, are you? Yeah, get in there. Give me a holy radiance. Um... One of the most useful spells we've had. There we go. Give me another one just because. Nice. Team, as always. This looks like a lab of sorts, almost. Oh, wait, no. More like a torture chamber, actually. Blood and flecks of dried flesh and crust the restraints. Uh, Tank is warm to the touch. Glass vibrates with the bubbling fluid inside. of horrible things were done in here. Ah, more. Hey. Oh. Wait. These aren't hostile. Hello, flesh construct. A woman caught mid-step across the room turns her head to face you. Long curls of black hair frame her face, one side of which is flecked with some green uh, with some green liquid. The gaze she sets upon you holds an airy intensity. Is that what an animancer is? A, uh, basically a necromancer. So if I remember correctly, did I read in the lore... That necromancy isn't as taboo in this world, or am I mixing that up with a different lore? No, I think I might be mixing that up with a different lore. More... You're... Right? Yeah, woman. More interruptions. The woman sets down the book she holds, smiling faintly. What an interesting time you've been having of late. So many uninvited guests. I uh, pardon the intrusion. Oh, you had a key, didn't you? I suppose I have to think. Uh, I suppose I have you to thank for all the damage to my work. What did I do? Um. It took time to get those people back on their feet, you know. Oh, well. Perhaps you shouldn't have set them on auto attack mode then. I just assumed Radrick's hold was haunted because he's an asshole or something, but apparently not. Osira frowns. What is it you're doing here? Well, I've come to see Lord Radrick. Were those yours? I prefer cats myself. <laughs> I do. I do prefer cats to undead, but, um, oh, let's get, uh, straight to the point, uh, 
I've come to see Lord Radric. I don't think she's one for mincing words, and I don't think I want to face that flesh construct. Osara narrows her eyes, smile widening. Aren't we the bold one? You must be another of Kosk's little rebels. Osira chuckles. Does he recruit you all out of the Black Hound? Ply you with drink? Ask you to ignore the consequences of your actions? Well, no, he, uh, recruited me on the streets, actually. I don't think that's much better. Um, and he didn't really need drink to convince me. I mean, Radrick. Deserves whatever's coming for him. No matter. What concerns me is the curse upon Gilded Vale's people. I am on the cusp of a great discovery, and it is not Kolsk who undermines me. She eyes you. You might have chosen more powerful allies. What? What do you mean? You mean... Could my companions or Kolsk? You're saying I'm undermining you. What caused what? Let's, uh, let's, uh, no, no, we're not going to just, uh, I'm not one to attack her just because she raised a few dead. Though the, uh, clear torture that's been done down here, I'm not sure if she's responsible, but not a fan. But if she's on the cusp of carrying Wade Wynn's legacy, it'd be a bit, um, premature to kill her. What caused Widwin's legacy? It isn't the superstitions of senile old men, I can tell you that. The legacy is an affliction of the soul, and I have dedicated my life alongside my peers to understanding the fabric of souls. Right. Right, 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 right. The, uh, the lady that we talked to was an animancer, wasn't she? The one who was executed. That's right. This is just the latest one. I've dedicated my life a lot. Right. The essence of life. With any luck, she'll hang on that tree alongside her peers, too. Oh, his voice is cold. With any luck, she'll hang on that tree alongside her peers, too. It's very possible. Perhaps even likely. It does seem to be what Radric likes to do. Especially now that uh, his child was born hollowborn, right? I consider myself the foremost student of Pandgram's famed theorems. It wasn't by chance that I was called here to assist in determining the true cause of this blight. This curse... It's not a parting gift from the scattered god, nor a punishment for petty sins. Oh? Really? It must be a localized effect, something which strips the soul from a body, as the Beowoks are known to do. Huh. I was actually leaning towards a... A, uh... It being a result of, uh... The supposed death of the scattered god. Don't tell my town that. It might get real embarrassed about trying to have me hanged. <laughs> oh. Bygones be bygones? No. Definitely not. I have detected, even so... Lingering traces of essence upon the bodies of so-called hollowborns. This suggests that the soul itself has not been wholly destroyed. Huh. It remains, I think, intact somewhere. And so it can be retrieved. Sutured, if you will. Back into its mortal flesh. Really? That is huge news. Why haven't you been able to find a cure yet? Her expression goes cold. It's that fool priest Nedmar. Isn't that the guy Kolsk told me to find? The Baratheon. 
forget what the wait that was the one of the gods right it's probably the pre I forgot he's a priest stuff I forget which one it is she sneers that old man was has woven tidy little tapestry of lies and fables Lord Radrick is a pious man and Denbar holds power over him especially now after this business with Egrid as if that hollowborn child was my doing yeah I that's what I was thinking. It's not going to be long till you're hanging from that tree. If Radrick has anything to say about it, I imagine. In any case, my efforts are increasingly hobbled by ignorance. It's actually probably the case for all the Animancers that have been, uh... That have come here. Imagine they were executed before they had even a chance to do anything. The priest has focused Lord Radrick's attentions upon the ruins of the Scattered God's Temple. Okay, the one we just actually went to recently. If it is consecrated anew, rededicated to Barath, then the curse will be lifted. Oh, she's being sarcastic. I was going to say, <laughs> that makes no sense. She rolls her eyes. Yeah. Radrick believes him, of course. In any case, he has supplied a vast amount of gold towards the effort. You will note that I am bereft of such generous support. She gestures to her lab with a sweep of her arm. See <laughs> yeah. I am left to scrounge for answers in these dismal commission conditions. Out of curiosity, uh, I mean, clearly you've been raising the dead. Uh, can I ask the source of these dead? These people you killed, or these people Radrick killed, and you're just taking advantage of them. I'm just curious. Hmm. Like I said, uh, it's premature to try and kill her if she's truly on the cusp of solving things. The amount of good that would do probably outweighs whatever harm she may have done so far. And I'm even, once again, I'm not even sure what harm she might have done just because she has undead around her. I mean, I'm practically an animancer myself, aren't I not? I mean, a cipher, but I deal in souls. I can't afford to be prejudiced against a fellow practitioner of the arts. Could I help you somehow? She angles a curious look your way. An interesting proposal. I certainly can't leave you threatening Lord Radrick's life. How would I uh, continue my research if he, was, uh, if he were gone? She frowns. Still, perhaps we need not be enemies. Well, okay. See, that's a problem. Because Radrick needs to die. He needs to die bad. But we could still potentially make a deal in that I kill Radrick, but I allow you to continue your research unimpeded and uh, with whatever resources they were going to use to rededicate that temple. I mean, it seems an insult to uh, the dead priests there. Probably sacrilege against uh, the dead god. If your true purpose is indeed, as Kosk claims, to help Gilded Vale, then we are of one mind, and you may well be of use to me. I stand at the very brink of revelation, but Nedmar's interference has gone too far. Hmm. What do you, I just kind of sense where this is going. What do you want me to do? I want you to deal with the High Priest, of course. With him gone. Radrick will have no nobody to distract him. We can focus our efforts upon resolving the crisis, and we will have the resources to do so. Kill him, and in return I will give you the means to speak with Radrick, a secret way by which you can avoid the guards. She smiles crookedly. They are not as patient as I, you see, nor do they ask, as many, ask many questions before attacking. She raises a finger. All this with the condition that you do not harm Lord Radrick. Uh, 
He really has it coming, though. And her eyes light up. Hey, let's take the deal and then double cross her. <laughs> Damn it, Edder. Sorry, I said that louder than I meant to. Got excited. Ah, uh, um, we can probably change our mind. We could at least go talk to Ned uh, or see his get his side of the story, maybe. I mean, I doubt he'll attack us on sight. We were originally supposed to go talk to him, anyways. Ah, I, that's the thing is. Radrick really does have it coming. I don't want to kill her if she's truly about to it, capable of carrying Wadewin's legacy. We'll, we'll uh, go along for the moment. We'll deal with Nenmar. She smiles warmly. Excellent. How much easier things might be such enlightened and brave individuals were commonplace. There are stairs up to the kitchens in the northwest corner of the dungeons. Follow those up further, and you will reach, reach the Parathian priest's quarters. You will find Nenmar there, within his chambers. The old man hardly ever leaves these days. I would not take up arms against the paladins unless absolutely necessary. Discretion would carry you further. Hmm. So I imagine we probably can't get that key from her to rescue whoever's in here. Well, we have a lot of uh, pondering to do about the moral implications of both of these routes. I have the feeling it is one of those kinds of decisions where we go to Nedmar and he's like, we have to kill uh, Osira here, or Osria here. She's a thorn in his side, and perhaps, uh, I don't know, maybe he'll call her evil or something. Is that a kitty? Aw. Is that one of her forces? But uh, we'll go and uh, we'll go and hear him out. 